I wasn't even filming guys. I literally was talking for like five minutes and I wasn't even filming. Wow. Okay, so let's try this again. Thank you. to my channel so as you can see I am not completely bare faced I just literally have my foundation on and my brows done I'm actually going to be doing another kind of first impressions reviews on a couple of new items that I ordered and just received over the last couple days I know I've been doing a lot of first impressions reviews um, but honestly there's just new makeup that I've been buying and I feel like I want to go ahead and review and give you guys a first impressions on so if you don't like these kind of videos and obviously don't watch totally fine with me but if you love these kind of videos then continue watching so the first thing that I want to share with you guys is something that I received from my influencer box so if you're not familiar with influencer it's basically a company that sends you free stuff to try out and they go they send you anything from like beauty related stuff hygiene food household like items I believe they are more known for sending like kind of like goodies like beauty stuff and like good beauty stuff like full size full price beauty stuff for free so that is why I signed on for it um, I've probably been a member for about six months now and I've gotten some really great items I've also gotten like food kind of like snack stuff to try out like coffee and things like that which I was like oh that's cool whatever but I am more for the beauty stuff obviously who isn't so that is what I received yesterday and I was so so excited because I was looking through the different palettes that he is offering it's six different iconic multi finish eye palettes so when I got it yesterday I quickly opened the box and I was like so excited I had to film with it because I just want to see how it blends I have never tried any Marc Jacobs eyeshadows the only thing I've ever tried from Marc Jacobs is his um, Omega bronzer and I think that's really it. Oh, and I like a foundation. But I have never tried really anything else. It comes in this box, and it's just this traditional packaging. Nothing, you know, crazy. And it has the name of the shadows in the back, and it comes well packaged. And then this is the bad boy itself. This is so pretty. His packaging is just so chic and and classy and just so simple. But you still can see that it's, it's expensive. So this is what it looks like. It's plastic, and then this is the inside of it. It comes with seven different colors. You get three mattes, and then you get one, two, three, four. Uh, more on the shimmery side, you get actual one shimmery color. I think it's metallic. I think there's two metallics. You get a good base shadow color, which is like a cream, and then you get a pearl white metallic kind of uh, iridescent white that has a little bit of a greener yellow tone behind it. I feel like you get a matte brown, you get a metallic gold, you, it looks like a cool tone green shimmer and then you get like a matte green teal color and then just this is a very dark green almost black like but definitely dark green with the gold glitter flakes. So this palette definitely has a good like overall range of colors for you to do entire eye look it's not like I have to like go look for another palette to get like my transition color um, this has every color you can use for your eye which I really like and then the back it just tells you the name of the shadows it comes with a nice mirror as well and this does retail for $49 I'm so curious to see how these blends I've never used any type of Marc Jacobs shadows before yeah. so let's go ahead and since I already did my foundation and my brows I'm gonna go straight in with my uh, shadows i'm going to use the first color in this palette called take a memo and it's actually that matte uh, cream color i'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see what i am doing and i'm just going to place this like i always do all over the lid quickly so far this is a very kind of like sheer shadow and i don't know if it's I feel like it's kind of making my eyes look dry. I don't know. And I feel like it's a little patchy. Um, but it's fine. I'll work with it. It's just the base anyways. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to use as many colors as I can just to see how they all work. I'm going to take this brown right here, which is called Wheel C. And I'm going to take that as like a transition kind of color. There is some fallout. If you can see, I'm like dipping my brush. There's some fallout. Nothing too intense. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to use this really pretty metallic gold and I'm just going to use that as the accent of my eye. I'm going to go ahead and just grab my Sigma E70 which is just a small concealer brush. I'm going to try this without any type of primer water or fix plus just because I want to see you know, how it goes on dry. This is something I like to test out because I typically won't wet my brush if I don't have to. So yeah, I think it shows up quite well just by itself. So I want to go ahead and add some primer spray. Oh yeah, look at that. So much more intense with the brush wet. So these are excellent to use with a wet brush just because it's going to give you that extreme pop. I'm really liking this color. Very, very different from what I usually do. So I'm going to go ahead and just go back and take my transition brush and kind of just blend it a little bit take more of that brown and just kind of add it to deepen that uh, so i'm gonna grab my smith 247 brush i'm gonna go ahead and take it and i'm gonna take that color called enviously and i am going to go ahead and just put it on the outer part of my eye So I'm going to go back in with that blending, take a little bit more of the My favorite uh, M507 brush, this is my Morphe, I love this brush for kind of just uh, blending out, I'm picking up some of that brown which is called wheel C and just hitting right underneath to blend it so kind of like what I do on top with the transition but on the bottom as well and I am going to take some of that gold metallic and just pop it right underneath so I'm gonna go ahead and use the voluminous lash paradise mascara I have really been liking this one just coat my lashes. These are my favorite lashes to use. They are by Eyler and Vegas Nay. They are her Easy Elegance. This is what it looks like. This is the package. So now I'm going to head and just use some Marc Jacobs Gel Liner in black. And this is actually called his Highliner Gel Crayon. So now let's move on with the rest of my face. So another new product that I'm really, really excited to use and share with you guys and do a little review and give you my first impressions are the ColourPop No Filter Concealers. So I bought three of them, two actually concealing ones because I wasn't sure what my color would be. So just to be safe, I bought two. They're only $6, guys. So I ended up only paying like $24, $28 after shipping and everything um, for both, all three of these. And then I also bought just a darker shade so I can go ahead and bronze with. These are the three colors I bought. I bought two lighter ones, which is light 15 and light 20 swatching them they're amazing like it looks super it looks very full coverage which is really nice i like that i'm always looking for a full coverage concealer so that is light 15 and this is light 20 so light neutral and light so definitely more pinky for the light neutral and then definitely more warmer for the light and then i got the a darker one this is deep tan this is fifth number 55 and I picked this one up strictly for bronzing. I think this would be a really good bronzer color. 
so that's what that looks like i'm gonna use my hard candy instant eye treatment this is a must for me we all know this i use this with all my concealers and i'm not planning on not using it anytime soon so i'm just gonna try this out so it's a fair try So my quick thoughts on this is it blends really, really nicely, even though you've had it sitting on your face and you can kind of feel it drying, it's still really easy to blend out. I'm not having any issues blending. It's super easy to blend out, which I really like. And it's very full coverage, guys. Like this is, I only use a little bit and it's already giving me like a full coverage look definitely like it it looks so flawless like it literally looks so flawless it looks like i set my face so that's literally all i'm gonna do go ahead and kind of softly build push it up Okay, so I went ahead and blended out all that concealer and it looks really good guys Like it just gave me a really nice bronze kind of kissed look, but I really like it you guys I think this is a great great color. It really is not super extreme I'm gonna say you guys I really like this concealer it literally It looks so flawless like literally so flawless like I set my face and I didn't so I'm going to go ahead and set my face because I always, always, always set my face. I'm just going to use my Air Spun Loose Setting Powder. Wow, it just looks so good. Like I didn't even have to set it. But I'm just setting it obviously because I always set and since it's like so humid outside, I can only imagine what I'll look like after just walking outside for like a second. So yes, loving it. It's set perfectly. I don't have any issues. So I'm going to quickly go and just do the rest of my face. Just finish it. I'm going to go ahead and set it. Add some bronzer, add some blush, add some highlight. And then I will be back to give you guys my final thoughts on both the uh, Marc Jacobs Iconic Eyeshadow Palette and the uh, ColourPop No Filter Concealer. So I'll be right back. Okay. So this is the finished look. Um, I went ahead and just did the rest of my face. And then I just topped it off with one of the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lip Paints. And this is the color 342 Tongue Tied, of course. I love this lip. I feel like it's obviously a nude. It goes with good with everything. Again, I use the Marc Jacobs Editorial Eyeshadow Palette. Yeah, I actually really ended up liking how this light eye look came out. Very different and very kind of out of my comfort zone. I would never really rock a metallic kind of like gold yellow eye. My thoughts on this palette are I like it. I think it's a good palette. It really does have all the kind of essentials you need to make an entire eye look as far as the base color, if you use a base, a transition color, the lid color, a crease color. It just has a good kind of variety of everything for your eye. So really like this palette. Do I think it's worth the $49? Yes and no. Me personally, I even though they look gorgeous and they blended really nicely, I just feel like it is like any other eyeshadow palette. I can compare it to the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I can compare it to the Anastasia palette. I just feel like Jaclyn Hill was 38. The new Subculture by Anastasia, the Mono Renaissance, those were 42. This is $49. So, and you are only getting seven shades so i think honestly if you are buying this you're buying it more for the name uh mark jacobs you're not necessarily buying it for the quality of shadows i think too you're paying a lot for the packaging because it is a really nice packaging it's nice and plastic and definitely if you were to drop this it most likely would not break so i think that when it comes to being 49 dollars 
I probably wouldn't go and buy one of these on my own. If this wasn't sent to me, I don't think I would have bought it. But yeah, so uh, I don't know. This is just an, a good item for me. It's not something where I'm like wowed by. And now for the concealers by ColourPop. Oh my goodness. If any of these two products were definitely a hit for me, it would be the concealers they are absolutely amazing when they say no filter there is literally no filter built into this it's like magic or something i bought the colors like i said light 20 and light 15 light 15 is way too light for me and it definitely is a little too pinky undertone it is more of a neutral it's supposed to be a neutral color but i feel like compared to the light 20 it definitely looks a lot more pink so i probably will only use that if i really want like an intense under eye highlight definitely definitely love this concealer i think it's going to be one of my go-to concealers yeah so i'm really excited to continue to use this to see how long it lasts me since the darker color i picked up deep tan 55 i love this for cream contouring i think it's cream contouring cream bronze or whatever you like to use whatever your preference is i think deep, deep tan is like a perfect bronzer color for me i probably can go a little bit more neutral because i feel like this was really warm the concealers were a definite hit for me i recommend go go and try them out they're amazing guys like literally I don't have any creasing of any kind going on. I don't have... It just looks so amazing. Like, so... It just looks amazing. I could probably use this as even a foundation. Because I just think it looks so amazing. Literally is probably one of the better concealer I've used. I would definitely compare it to Tarte Shape Tape as far as coverage. But better because it just looks so flawless. Like I literally look like I have no pores. I just look porcelain. Even when I set it, it did not mess with the formula of the concealer. I honestly feel like when it's not super hot and humid outside, I could probably rock it in the winter not having to set. Because I feel like it's just that great of a concealer. Like it just dries to a powder. But like more of like a mattifying powder. So I'm definitely going to have to test this out. And then I'll go ahead and... Uh, Either if I don't come back and kind of give my thoughts on it, then I definitely will give my thoughts in my next video. But I love it. I am loving this so far. I think it looks great. It just, it has such a full coverage. You can even use it as a foundation. I'm debating on going on there and trying to see if I can find a color close to my actual skin because I would even love to use this as a foundation as well. But yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I'm always reading. I'm always responding. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this kind of gave you guys a good idea of some of the products I used and I think that is pretty much it so if you need any information I will have everything linked down below in the bottom bar I always list all my face products even though I don't show it I always list what I use and yeah so that's pretty much it so until next time guys I shall see you in my next video bye